All right. Well, there is another story that we've been following actually for months now on Fox Business. Veterans facing yet another employment hurdle as the tax credit that gives companies over $9,000 for hiring a veteran is set to expire at the end of the year. Let's bring in decorated World War II veteran and author of The Evolution of an Entrepreneur, Jack Nadel. Jack, it's good to have you back. What do you make of the fact that these companies that have been hiring veterans and have been getting the unemployment rate down may lose that credit come January 1st? How high do you think unemployment for our nation's veterans could go? Well, I think that's a very tough question, and that takes a, a long time to answer. But the short answer and the one that I think that really works is that more veterans uh, need to look into going into their own businesses, that the entrepreneurship is the solid answer to the economy problems. A couple of years ago, I looked back and I saw uh, iconic uh, companies like Sears Roebuck and Eastman Kodak in trouble, and uh, I, I realized once again that, it, that we do need uh, more entrepreneurs, we do need more products, and we do need more action out there, and it's not necessarily a government fix. So I, that's why I, at my advanced age, right. I sat down to write from my own experience yeah. uh, the evolution of an entrepreneur to, to, to have a crash course to in how to that. go into business. Well, here's the thing, though, Jack, you know, especially with these young veterans that are getting out, and we should say that they've got a much higher unemployment rate. It's still above 10 percent, and this is just in the month of September, than the, than the overall unemployment rate for nation's veterans. And this is going back to the wars in Iraq and even prior to that. So these young kids that are coming out, they don't have the skills. They don't know how to translate those skills from the battlefield to a company. And you say to them, become an entrepreneur. Well, what does that mean? Do they open up a franchise? Do you think that they well, should go sure. back to school? I mean, what do these kids do that are, that are suffering right now? Well, Cheryl, I didn't pull it out of the air. I am a veteran. <laughs> I did fight in World War II. Uh, and I know exactly what they're going through. And I came out with just my severance pay. And I started as an entrepreneur. I don't think the word was even invented then. Uh, but it's given me one great living for the past 70 years, and uh, I've had a blast doing it, mm -hmm. and I cannot do more than recommend it. As a matter of fact, one of my programs that I think is very important is I'm sending out a gift of, uh, of the book to veterans to who want to go, either mm -hmm. want to go into business or are in business. Jack, uh, can, uh, Jack, can I ask you something? Yeah. I'm just curious what you think. And we should say, I mean, you've had such a storied career, not just with the books, but, I mean, you traveled with President Reagan back in 1988. He went, you went on a trade yes. mission with him. I mean, you've been focused on veterans for so long. Do you think that American companies are doing enough when it comes to veterans and getting them hired? Are we there, or do we need to do more? I don't think it's a primary concern. Uh, and uh, I think that the American business, like all other business, are concentrating on what's good for the business. If we can show them how the veterans are going to help their business, how veteran training is, is really uh, current, and how they can uh, uh, charge the economy, then certainly they'll put out the effort. The fact that uh, the veterans, we all owe a debt of gratitude to these, uh, to these guys and women that went out and sacrificed, mm -hmm. but they should come back to a happier home and a happier climate, and as you are suggesting, a happier right. reception well, Jack, from the business well, community. Real quick, I don't have a lot of time, but you know, one thing that we're seeing with these young kids now is they're coming back with PTSD. They're traumatized from the battlefield. Did that happen when you, when you came out of World War II? Was that a common thing? Very common. It, only it wasn't publicized as well. Uh, we all, anybody who's been in combat and has been shot at and has seen his buddies die uh, is subject to uh, all those terrible things that you speak about. It's a question for the individual to work himself out of it. And what we've learned in the Army and the Navy and the, uh, and the Air Force was the discipline to, to do these things so that uh, 
Uh, the training that uh, the veterans have received is going to help them in civilian life. Mm -hmm. Being in business is a next step. And I think more veterans than you would know or that they know are capable of doing it and doing it well and improving their lot in life sure. and the economy as well. There's a lot of work to do, Jack, and, and you know that more than anyone. And, you know, still 90 years uh, old, you're I, still I, working I tough. I, I, Jack, i got to say, I, I really respect what you're doing, and it's always great to talk to you. Jack Nadel, author of The Evolution of an Entrepreneur. Thank you, Jack. <laughs> Thank you, Cheryl. It's really nice to talk to you. And my best to the veterans, particularly as we approach Veterans Day. Incidentally, and if they check my website, Jack Mandel, uh, <laughs> dot com, you keep selling. They will I find. They will find. They will find. <laughs> okay. They will find a section on gift to veterans. All they have to do is click. Okay, never quit, Jack. That's the message I just got from Jack. Thanks, Jack. All right, a persistent <laughs> plugger. Stop. There. He doesn't stop.